It's been a minute. I got this. Um, here's the walk tutorial, guys. I'm gonna show you how to make this in about six or seven minutes. Is this serious? Okay, so first what you want to do, I'm going to save this. First what you want to do is open your R6IK, then go to animation, here's where it starts. You set it to 60 because that's what I had it as. It's a good speed for walking. You can honestly do it as anything depending on how fast the walk is. Anyway, so for the torso, we're going to want to angle it forward a little bit and then turn it like this yep that's good and I did have some complaints about my posing in the last video so I might recreate that okay so now that it's like this you put the arm in front because that's where the torso is facing and then this arm same thing opposite I can honestly turn it more if I wanted. There we go. Boom. That should be the other arm. This could honestly go down more. But yeah. Those are the arms. These are what the arms look like so far. Just did that in like two seconds. I'm going to put that down a little bit so it looks less silly. And then, as we stated before, people don't walk on same foot and same arm. It's actually called bear walking. It looks silly. So we're going to put this leg, which is the right leg, in front because our left arm is in front. And then we put this back because, well, you know, you've already seen the running tutorial. I hope. If you haven't, go watch that. Anyway, here. This is what our pose is going to look like, honestly put it down like that a little bit and no that's not that's too much there we go like that honestly put this more back put this like this boom so this is going to be our zero pose and then we duplicate this using shift d to 60 because that's going to be the same thing it's going to loop take this all of it right click copy pose paste x flip pose this is where all the magic starts okay guys we go to 15 raise this leg because it's the one going up raise this leg and we go to 10 bring the leg back And then bring the leg up. So you have that as the leg. Honestly, we'll tamper with that later. When we're polishing it. What I like to do personally for the torso. 10 is down, right? And 20 is our up frame. But what I've recently done is you make five less you make it go up so it has like that little bounce obviously we don't want it too much so we're gonna bring this up a little bit but yeah it'll look a lot better when i show you guys what to do so for the arms we're gonna just do our casual little thing right here where it's like this Our 20 frame arm is going to be like that. Honestly, that's a little choppy. We're gonna fix that. We're going to fix that. Like that. Honestly, if it just looks choppy, like it's hard to explain, but you kind of just want to play around with it a little bit until it becomes clean. This, we're gonna take this back, move it like that, bring it forward so that it touches 
that part of the torso. It touches the front red on red. It will look silly a little bit. So we're going to do this. So that looks good. Kind of. No wonder. It's this one. Bring this down a little bit. Bring this down. Sorry, I'm just tampering with it. Honestly, like... After a bit, you kind of just start getting used to it. Okay, so now... We're gonna do this. We're gonna take this pose. We're gonna select... Just like in the run. We're gonna select all of these that have a keyframe. These white dots. Copy pose. Paste X flip pose. This one only has this. So we're gonna paste this over here. And then... You're gonna take these for because it's the same thing as the other thing I'm gonna go here place actual pose we're gonna make this look a lot smoother guys don't worry select all of it go to the graph editor just like last time you make it cyclic so that it loops smoothly here's the trick that I've learned you see your arm keyframes, right? We're gonna select all of our arm keyframes. This one doesn't have one. What the heck? Uh, forgot to do this one. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna select all of our arm keyframes. All of them. Select all of our torso keyframes. Yeah. And then we're gonna hit the magic button, V, in the keyframe area automatic if I'm correct it should make everything pretty much a lot smoother we're gonna do this to get rid of this green line if you do have it you want to change your interpolation mode to bezier so yeah it's still not completely perfectly like smooth mostly because um I rushed it, but you know what? We're going to tamper with it until we're happy with it, okay? We're going to tamper with it until we're happy with it. So we're going to do this. We're gonna fix the legs. The legs have been bothering me. So here's what we're gonna do with the legs. We're gonna bring this forward. Actually, we could delete that and it could work. Yeah, let's delete that middle keyframe. We didn't really need it. You know, honestly, I think that should be fine. Obviously, it's not as good as the one in the intro because this one was made in 10 minutes. So, do as you will. Play around with it for like 20 minutes. It should look a lot better than this. But this is just how to get it simple. If you run into one of these issues where like this looks a little weird, you could do that. so that the uh, the leg isn't angled in a weird way. But yeah, this is how you do a walk cycle with, I hope is better posing for you people that were complaining in the comments. Um, yeah, that's my tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully this gets as much attention as the last one. Um, you guys didn't comment it last time, but if this tutorial helped you, please comment. Thanks, Master Biz, you're the best. I'll shout out the person that did comment it, that I first saw. Anyway, thank you guys. Next, if you guys want to see 
M1s or anything else, let me know. I'll do it. Probably about like nine months from now. Ah!